how to run a successful Zoom meeting. Hey, what's up? This is Pete here. And in this video, I want to share something that is definitely relevant to what is happening around the world and how we're having to adjust as businesses, as professionals, and maybe yourself, you are transitioning into the online space. I get it, it can be scary. You've got all these people on a call. How do you host it? How do you create engagement? And what are the top tips that you just really can't find online? So what I'm gonna do with you in this video is take you through one of my live calls. There's about 85 people on this particular call. And from start to finish, how I set up all the little secrets tips that I had to learn the hard way and I'm still learning every single day myself as well. So I thought it'd be useful for you. Let me know in the comments below which tips or hints really help you out. And from there, let's get into this soon. For a great Zoom call, video and sound are absolutely vital. So here is my Logitech webcam. Do not trust your built-in webcam. And here's my Chanta Nano, which I absolutely love for the quality of sound that it gives on a Zoom call. A couple of other top tips. One is make sure you're hydrated. So here is my turmeric drink. Other top tip, if you have a second screen, set it up for larger Zoom calls because now you can get 50 people on the screen in front of you and you've got your main screen and your second screen. Another great tip is to simply set up your smartphone on a stand. I use my phone for a number of things throughout a Zoom call, including using it as a timer, which you're gonna see later in this vlog. Finally, if you're wondering what these guys are all about, then you need to stick around for the rest of this vlog, but that is Slothy, accompanied by Puggy on a horse. I always jump on a few minutes early to make sure that number one, there's people waiting in the waiting room, which is great. Also check things like sound, so I'm checking nano mic and also the HD cam is set up Good to go. I always go live on Facebook as well. This is a really cool tip because not everybody can join you actually on the Zoom call. So I put it in my members group, which you can see happening right here. And from there, as it shares in my Facebook group, we can get some interaction, some engagement going on Facebook as well as Zoom. Before your Zoom call begins, make sure you shut down all other running apps, email, WhatsApp, anything that pings, shut it down so you can focus on your call. Finally, we get to have some fun and stream some royalty-free music from YouTube directly onto Zoom and Facebook. There's already 29 people in the waiting room, so let's get this thing started. And now to add the most important touch of all, which is this guy, because entertainment is key. Slothy's gonna own this Zoom session. By now, there's more than 50 people already in the Zoom waiting room. All I need to do is push one button and they're all gonna join me on this call. Do you know what? I love nothing more than seeing so many people trying not to laugh or trying not to smile when they see Slothy. So let me repeat, yeah? You're here for two to three hours. What are you here for this evening? What's your intention? Um, would love to know more about your discovery um, call research call strategy. Mark, uh, are you here already? There's no right or wrong way to start your Zoom call. For me personally, I like to entertain. That's why we have a slothy dance, gets everyone laughing or at least involved. And speaking of involvement, then I follow up with some questions which are related to everybody. So they immediately feel that the call is for them. And you've got to understand how people buy. And I mean that to everyone on this call. I don't know if this is a good tip or not, but I tend to say it a lot. I say this is for everybody on this call because I want everybody to feel involved, even if you're speaking to one person. So at the moment, uh, we're an hour and 23 minutes into this call, and there's been loads of questions, which is amazing, but I've asked them to all go into a breakout room. This is such a top tip for Zoom. Use the breakout room facility. So we've got here, if you look, I'll cover the names, uh, but we've got nine breakout rooms. There's like a lot of people on this call. 
The breakout rooms is by far my favorite feature on Zoom, purely because it creates the most important thing of all, which is interaction. When people feel involved in the learning, or if it's a meeting and they can share their contributions, it absolutely changes the energy and dynamic of your entire Zoom session. Right now on this Zoom session, I've got between 10 and 12 rooms and about five or six people per room, which is fantastic because even though there's more than 80 people on the call, they're all gonna feel like they can share, contribute, brainstorm and come up with some fantastic ideas. By the way, it's so important that you set a stopwatch. It's so easy to let time slip away on these calls. One hour can feel like five minutes and even three hours can feel like 10 minutes. So set a stopwatch and stick to your times. Final tip on breakout rooms. Once everybody's gone off into their rooms and you've got a few minutes to relax, please make sure that you mute yourself and also you turn your camera off because it's very easy to be too relaxed and forget that this is all being streamed live, especially to Facebook coolest thing about having breakout rooms is it actually gives you a rest because the last thing you want is to be talking the whole time and you have dinner sit by the fireplace hang out with stoppies just keep an eye on all of this over here well we've got a few moments here just want to talk to you very quickly about the difference between poor lighting and good lighting make sure that your light isn't too bright like it is now and also too dim uh, where it's turned down you can see we're playing around the lighting here get your lighting right because light and sound are everything okay, grab a drink grab a coffee so, yeah you can wait around one minute 40 you can grab a drink but in 40 seconds there's gonna be about 60 people all popping back at the same time like we came back early <laughs> <laughs> people like to have a chat when they get back I don't maybe know. we came back but welcome back okay How's it oh, going? Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're all back. Well, almost in 20 seconds, everybody's going to be back here all at once. Five, four, three, two, one. And now everybody's going to come back into the room. It's my favorite time on a Zoom call. Look at that. Four pages of you. Okay, what I'd like you to do, please, is first of all, to share how the breakout went brief, brief uh, in the um, comment section, please. Again, what I'm doing here is encouraging interaction. You just had a breakout room. What did you get from the session? It's important that we have peer-to-peer -peer learning as well. So what I'd like to do is just get, um, while the comments are coming in, just have one or two of you um, share um, kind of the main theme that was in your breakout room. So anybody, this is your chance, hit the unmute button, and then from there you can share any... Uh, I just think, you know, and I just said this to the girls, it, it's great that, you know, we've all got different businesses, but it's great that we can all come together on one platform yep. and use your material you. and you can relate to it. You understand it. It doesn't matter if you don't know what their business is about. We all understand the one tool. And I think that's what we got from the, from, from our group. Yep. Similar, similar, you know, areas. Yep. And, um, so, so one of the common issues was about being, you know, overly booked up and then trying to manage the business, mm. trying to, you know, manage the time of everything and you, you've got the list in the deep dive of the high value activities um but predominantly and i think i mentioned this on wednesday's call all right everyone we've been on this call now for basically three hours it's plenty of time for lots of breakthroughs so many breakthroughs happening in the comments as well thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you uh, you guys are amazing do your thing fred and cresta you guys it's four in the morning you need to go to bed everybody else it's a friday night go and enjoy your evening and i'll see you not tomorrow i'll see you on sunday thank you very much everyone see you later yay and we're done uh, we answered like i think we answered everyone's questions okay you may rest on the sofa oh. Once you've completed your Zoom call, uh, it's very important that you relax on the sofa and with the sloth and uh, stop, stop it. It's what was he doing? It just touched my leg. Oh. It's very important that you relax on the sofa. Um, but yeah, Zoom is Zoom is a great platform. It's not the only one. I'm sure that I know that there's other platforms out there. Um, but uh, right now, especially with what's happening around the world, uh, Zoom is a good place to be. I'm tired. I'm done. I'm actually done. Watch the video. So thank you so much for joining me on today's video. By the way, if it's your first time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also check out my latest video. Most of my channel is actually about helping people start a business and having the confidence to sell. Well actually, perhaps you've been in business for a long time and you're looking to take your sales to the next level. This is definitely the channel for you. Lots of videos here to help you to reach those goals. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.